Welcome to ECLEMU Learning Simplified. In the previous lesson, we discussed significant figures. Now in this lesson, we are going to discuss standard form. And we are going to realize that in standard form, we are going to write very large numbers or very small numbers in such a way that an integer appears before a decimal point. And the common format in which we are going to write these numbers is in a form of A times 10 raised to power n, where a is between 1 and 10, and then the index n is an integer. My name is Albert. I hope you will enjoy the lesson. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to be able to describe how to write numbers in standard form. Then later, we will do a few examples involving standard form. So standard form is a way of writing numbers, especially very large numbers or small numbers, in such a way that only one integer appears in front of a decimal point. A good example of a very large number is a number like 3,433,210.0. This is a very large number. Then a very small number, a good example of a very small number, very small number is like 0 0.0000367. These are very small number. So for us to write them in standard form, then we have to write them in this format, a times 10 raised to power n, where a ranges between 1 and 10, where a is not less than 1, and a is not more than 10. And then the integer that we raise as n should be an integer. This should be an integer, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, like that. So in this case, if we write this number, the first number in standard form, then it will appear as, the first one there, it will appear as 3.0, because not point zero, it will be 3, then you continue with the rest of these numbers, 3.433210, the way it appears here, only you put a point there. Then times times 10 raised to power. The power that you raise, look at this. For us to give to get this decimal point at the 3, we moved backward from this point 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So when you move to the left from a point, then the power should be a positive. So positive 6. We moved backward 6 times. So it says that you put that plus there, or you leave it like that, an index that does not have a sign behind it is a positive index. So in this case, we have written this number in standard form and it's read as 3.433210 times 10 raised to power 6. So in this case, if you want to go back to its normal number, like the one that we had up there, then here it's going to be 3.433210. Times 10 raised to power 6 is the same as 10, 1. Then you go with 6 zeros. 6 zeros like that. Then in this case, these zeros are going to, count to, to, to lift this decimal point to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Then that is where a point will be. And this number now will be 3, 4, 3, 3, 2, 1, 0. So as you can see, when you, res you resolve it back to its normal, it will go back to where it was. Then the second part, that is when we have a very small number, if we want to write that number in standard form, then we will write it as, we first move until we reach where there's an integer. So here we'll move 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Remember here we're moving to the right. When we are moving to the right, then this number we will write it as, 3.67 times 10 raised to power. We moved 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We moved 6 times, but to the right. When you move to the right, then the power becomes a negative, or the index becomes a negative. In this case, it will be like that. Since we move to the right, it becomes a negative. When you move to the left of a decimal point, it becomes a positive. And if you want to change this number to its original uh, figure, then what you do, you will write it as 
3.67 times 10 raised to power 6. Remember from your mathematics, when you discuss index, you were told when you have a number A raised to power negative N, it is the same as 1 over A. So in this case, if you we want to write this 10 raised to power 6 in terms of a positive number, in this case it will be positive all through a n positive. So in this case we can write it as 1 over 10 raised to 6. This is the same as 3. This is the same as 3.67 divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And if you have like this, and then now you move backward here. These zeros, there are six. You move backward six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then it will be zero point zero 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 three six seven. So as you can see, we can still go back to the original number like that. So that's how we write in standard form. And if uh, that's how we can change standard form to the normal numbers. So let's handle a few questions concerning standard form. The first question express the following in centimeters, giving the answer in standard form. The first question is 1000 meter. We first change it to centimeters. Then we write in standard form. So in this case, one meter is equals to 100 centimeter. Then in this case, we have uh, 1000 meter. How many centimeters are there? So in this case, we are going to have as 1,000 times 100, which is going to give us 100,000 centimeters. So in this case, for us to write it in standard form, we make sure only one integer is in front of a decimal point, And in this case, it's going to be 1. So it is 1.0. The rest of the zeros are not important in this case. Then now, how many times did you move backward? 1, 2, 3, 4. Five. So it's 1.0 times 10 raised to power positive 5 since we moved to the left. The second question B, express 125 in centimeters and write in standard form. In this case, we say 1 centimeter is equals to 10 millimeters. Then now, how many centimeters will be there in 1, in 125 millimeters. So in this case, if you cross multiply, it will be one centimeter times 125 millimeter divided by one or by 10 millimeter. So in this case, the millimeter will cancel out with this millimeter. Then we will remain with 125, 125 divided by 10. And in this case, this one zero will bring that there. And then we will have our answer as 12.5 centimeter and therefore in this case if we want to write it in standard form we make sure that only one integer appears before a decimal point and it will be one we move back once 1.25 times 10 we moved back once so it's times 10 raised to power one centimeter also, this one is centimeter. Then number C, we have 3.8 meter. We want to express it to centimeters, then in standard form. So in this case, one meter is equals to 1,000 or 100 centimeters. I mean, 100 centimeter. Then we have 3.8 meter. How many centimeters are there? In this case, it's going to be 3.8 times 100, which is going to be 380 centimeter. We want to write it in standard form. We make sure only one integer appears before a point. So we move back one, two, it's going to be 3.80 times 10 raised to power. How many times do we move backward or to the left? Two times centimeters. So it's 3.80 times 10 raised to power two. Then the other one, number D, express 0 0.015 meter into centimeters, then write in standard form. So in this case, it's going to be one meter is equals to 100 centimeter. Then 0 0.00, 0 0.15 meter, how many centimeters will be there? 
in this case it's going to be 0.015 times 100 which it will give us which is going to give us uh, these two points will go like that it's going to give us 1.5 centimeter so 1.5 centimeter we want to write it in standard form in this case we will it, we don't have to move to any side so we write it as 1.5 times 10 raised to itself raised to power 0 so in this case if you raise a number to 0 any number raised to 0 is 1 so in this case if we write it like this it means we have written it in standard form of 1.5 so in this case it will be 1.5 times 10 raised to power 0 centimeter because 10 raised to power 0 is 1 and 1 times 1.5 is 1.5 so the other question i will leave it for you as an assignment so this one is your assignment try it and then if you have any difficulties kindly visit ECLIMU learning simplified website and your problem will be simplified so we can also be given numbers in standard form and required to change them into ordinary numbers and that is the second question here so we are going to begin with the first one then we go to the second one then the third one i will decide if i will leave it as an assignment or not so the first question reads transform these numbers into ordinary we have the first number as 9.9 .9 times 10 raised to power 5. so here we are going to follow a very simple rule of mathematics which says under indexes which says when you have a number as a raised to power n negative n it's equals to 1 over a raised to n when you are dealing with index or negative indices then in this case we can write this number in that format as 9.9 .9 times instead of writing 10 raised to power negative 5 then we can write as divide times 1 over 10 raised to power 5 positive in this case now then in this case if we can write this one now as a whole it will be 9.9 .9 times 1 over 100,000. 10 raised to the power 5 is the same as 100,000. Then in this case, it's also the same as 9.9 .9 divided by 100,000, like that. And in this case, for you to remove these zeros from below here, you move back the number of steps equals to the number of decimal points here. So in this case, you will move back five times one two three four five and then you put a decimal point so in this case our answer is going to be 0 0.000099 so in this case we have written this number in ordinary uh, form then the second question here the second question is 8.474 times 10 raised to power 3 in this case using this simple rule of mathematics we don't have a negative integer so it means if we can write it as we can write this as 8.474 times 10 raised to power 3 is the same as 10 1000 like that so in this case if we proceed we can write this one as 8.474 times 1000 which is the same as if we want to remove this 1000 we will move forward we will move forward if you multiply 8 point this 0.474 times 1000 then we will move forward three steps one two three so in this case our answer is going to be 8400 sorry it will be 8000 474 so in this case we have written it as a standard form no we have changed it from standard form to an ordinary number then let's do the last one change that is number three change 6.2 times 10 raised to power one into ordinary number in this case we don't have a negative power this is the same as 10 raised to power one is 10 so it is the same as 6.2 times 10 which if we write this one 6.2 times 10 is going to give us 62 so
So it is simple as that. So you can write either in standard form or you can write the standard form into ordinary numbers. So that marks the end of our lesson today. In the next lesson, we will discuss decimal points and common standard prefixes that we use in physics.